Peace be with you. It is Saturday in the fifth week of Lent. Tomorrow is Palm Sunday. This is the collect for tomorrow. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The college begins with the adjectives almighty and ever-living God. God's, of course, great um, power and sovereignty over the universe, all that is created, things seen and unseen. Um, and God's uh, eternity, God before, um, during, and after, and transcending all time. That God loves us in your tender love for the human race. The word tender there, even amplifying the word love. God's great love and care for us. For us, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature. That, of course, the mystery of the Incarnation, God's great gift, loving us tenderly to become one of us in order to redeem us. That which has been assumed by God um, is redeemed by God. And to suffer death upon the cross. Of course, that is what we're heading to as we look at Holy Week coming up. Uh, not only the reading of the Passion tomorrow, um, but also on Good Friday. And the cross is always with us. Of course, the um, the crucified peoples of the world are always in front of us as well. We see the suffering of Jesus in the suffering of those um, in our world today, and certainly we know that he suffers in sympathy and solidarity with them, giving us the example of his great humility. Uh, the cross, of course, the most shameful way to die. Um, that's the way that God chose to die for us. Um, we did our worst so that God could do God's best. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering. We know that our lives are full of suffering. When we suffer, may we know that we walk along with Jesus, and more importantly, that he walks along with us. And also share in his resurrection. We know that death is not the end, um, but life eternal is the end. We know that sin is not the end, but salvation. We know that evil is not the end, but good. Um, so it is through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord, that we are fully redeemed and given the Christian hope, the promise of life eternal with him. This is the last in our series of collects as catechism. I hope that you have learned a bit more about the, about the church, about its teachings, about its beliefs, its doctrines, um, all of the things that make us Episcopalians within the Anglican Communion. The collects are a great gift for us. Um, but as, they, as is the catechism, they are but a jumping off point. They are not the summation of what it is to be Episcopalian, not a summation of theology, but a place that sparks good questions and prompts further study. So if there's anything that you have learned that you wonder more about as we have gone through these, I encourage you to look them up. I encourage you to reach out to me and ask a few questions. God bless you. Peace be with you.